Okay, so I want to start off this video with a huge disclaimer. In the video, I was talking a lot about this certain brand that was sending me clothes. Sending me clothes, but like I got the clothes from this app, so I was giving them like a lot of promotion, you could say. I do not work with this brand anymore because a bunch of stuff recently came out about them. This is not a company that I want to be representing or promoting or any of that. I started filming this, I think, in like the middle of April, so this was before everything happened. So, yeah, I filmed this video in like the span of like a whole month, so I hope you guys like the video and yeah hi guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel i've never said that so i really like my outfit today It's from Brandy Movo and it's like this really nice light green color. I, as soon as I started recording, I started sweating, like for what? I wanted to do a spring-ish slash summer clothing haul because it feels like summer in my hometown, like for what? It is too soon to be doing that. Also, I'm missing, oh. I didn't realize they were both on my middle finger. I think that finger is just too powerful. Basically, I'm doing this thing on Doe and they just gave me a bunch of free credit, so I just bought a bunch of stuff on their app. This is kind of basically sponsored by Doe, so thank you Doe. Very cool. Some of the stuff I didn't get on Dope, some of the stuff I bought on my own time. And this is also going to be a collective haul. I'll probably be filming in other places, other times, because I'm getting a lot more packages. And I'm still ordering stuff, so... Yeah. So we're actually going to start off with my biggest purchases of the... Off with my biggest purchase... Per actually going to start off with my biggest per... per what? What? I cannot say purchases. Let's do this again. Start off with my biggest purchases of the recent time. Yeah. I got a new MacBook Air. I mean, no. No. A new MacBook Pro. This is the Space Gray, and I got 256 gigabytes. If you're wondering, you're probably not. I just really needed a new computer, and my old computer is actually very, very old. I was just due for a new computer because I actually bought my old computer from my mom, so it wasn't brand new. I'm watching Aspen Ovard, by the way, but it has this little toolbar thing, so it was like a little bit more pricey than it usually is, but so I got some stickers from Zoomies to put on it. Very cool. I also got a new phone. I got the iPhone XS Max in like silverish white. Literally my favorite phone I've ever had. I really like this phone so far. I'm going to do a what's on my iPhone if you guys want it, but got a new phone. <laughs> um, oh, why did I turn this on? Also, I'm not trying to brag at all. Like, I hope you guys know that. I bought everything in this haul with my own money. My mom does not go out like spending her money on me like that. So next thing I got is so hypocritical of me. I know. I used to talk so much mess about these backpacks and say they were overpriced, they weren't good, they were just not as cute as everybody said they were. And I still believe in that. So stick by my morals, you know? Bought one because I was buying one for a giveaway and I saw this one and I was like... Okay, but that one's kind of cute though. Red and I've never seen anybody with like a red kankin backpack. I actually used this when I went to Venice and I'm gonna be honest, it's not the most accessible it's like super hard to open the zipper and it's really annoying especially when you're trying to get something out fast like your wallet it's cute it was like 80 dollars for absolutely no reason now we're gonna move on to zoomies most of the stuff i bought online so i don't have like a bag or anything my favorite color right now is green you can probably tell by like my recent outfits i literally say it in every video but my favorite color is green um it's on my nails I really wanted a green tube top and I didn't know they had it like anywhere because I was like like why would people make a green tube top? I saw this at Zoomies and I love it. I love it. I really don't like like the fabric material though. I wish it was like cotton but you know it's okay. I get what I get. There's like no other green tube tops in the world so I cannot wait to wear this because summer's coming up and it's been hot as hell. <laughs> For no reason. And I got this, which is so cute. It looks like such like a loungewear piece that I could just wear around the house. And it would be so easy to like pair this with an outfit. I used to see this everywhere. Like I saw it at PacSun. I saw it at Tilly's. I see this shirt everywhere. I wasn't going to get it. Obviously, I thought it was cute. But I wasn't going to get it because it's $30 and I can DIY this. I had to get it. I saw it so many times. I think it's just a sign. It's Adidas little tank. And it's this really pretty light purple color. Y'all know how purple she's my weakness. It's gonna be perfect for summer, I already know. Now let's move on to Urban Outfitters. The thing I got from Urban Outfitters is on Doe, and I got it all shorts. I didn't even notice that until like after I bought it, but I actually wore these yesterday, so they're kind of wrinkled, like not my fault. 
They look super big, but like I swear they're not that big. I got these pink Dickies shorts. I did not even know Dickies had shorts, but I love like colored shorts. I just love colored like bottoms. I think they're so cute and they can make your outfit look so good. Um, but they're just this really cute hot pink color. I don't know. I didn't expect to find these, so I just bought them. Kind of fit me like trousers, which is kind of odd, but I still like them because they're pink. Next thing I got, I actually already looked at these and they're kind of odd. Like, I don't know why they're so big. I just don't remember them being that big on the model. Here, I'll show you. This looks so flared out and I'm not really sure why because I don't remember them being small like waist size is a 26 and I'm a 28 Okay, so maybe this was my fault, but how they're supposed to look they look super cute and like vintage You know how it be but I don't think this is how they're gonna look up. love how vibrant they are It's like this really pretty red color 10 out of 10 if they fit me. I got another pair of shorts There's some Levi's and I know Levi's is a really really good like denim Clothing company a lot about this clothing company and how it's really good and all that so to test it out for myself It's got this basic pair of like mom shorts. They have like no rips or anything. They're super basic and like super just bare minimum and they were $69 These are something I could thrift so I'm kind of mad at myself for spending that much on a pair of shorts and they probably won't even look that good so um, I think this is going to be a try on haul. I'm really not sure. It depends on how I'm feeling. So I got one thing from PacSun and it is so pretty. So proud of these. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just proud. Um, they look like this. You might think they look super weird, but they're two-toned pants. Two different tones of denim. I don't know why I was making it seem like it was hella difficult. But so cool and like vintage and different. I don't know why I'm just so proud of these. Like, I'm proud that I own these now. Oh, one of my favorite Instagram brands actually sent me a shirt. I also wore this yesterday, so I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see how it fit me and all that. But but the brand is called Cat Piff. They just have a bunch of like different multicolored shirts and super cool basic color tee. Now we're gonna move on to Brandy Melville. I spent three hundred dollars on Brandy Melville. I don't know why. I just want to talk about it for a second. I hate the one size fits all like little rule policy whatever. So ignorant like i just can't stand it me being like a size medium sometimes i'm a size small like on my good days like on, in certain clothes i'm a size small when i ordered them they looked super cute so i bought them obviously but when they came to my house and i took a little sneak peek at them they literally look like they'll fit my eight-year-old sister like I think i've warmed up to crop tops like i'm not like foreign from them anymore like I, these are literally all crop tops like can't admit that these are some of the cutest clothes I've ever seen and I feel like no other brand has clothes like these and that's why Brandy Melville is so popular. They were like more open to bigger sizes than I feel like they would get so much more customers. Like they're kind of like setting themselves up for failure. But besides from that, these are super cute clothes and I might resell them just because I probably won't fit in them like to be quite honest. Let's get into the haul. This looks so little. Like am I really that big? Other than that, this is actually a really cute top. Super sporty and cute and it's a little tank top so it's perfect for summer but the next thing looks like it'll fit my dog. Super cute. I like the black sleeves. I think one of the best color combos is like pink and white, pink and black, pink and red. I feel like pink is just such a versatile, really nice color. Super cute. I can't wait to sweat in this in summertime. So this is actually really pretty. It's just like a basic top. I like all the butterflies. I got a lot of pink clothes like you'll see that throughout this haul. It's actually a t-shirt so I don't think this is going to be cropped on me. I know, surprise. And I got a tube top because I was feeling kind of feisty, like. I got this pink tube top. I've been super into tube tops. You can probably tell, but I think they're super easy to throw on, super easy to, like, pair with. So, I thought this was a necessity. This is so pretty. This is, like, basically the same color as the top I'm wearing right now. Really light, like, pastel green top. Basically just, like, a little crop top. It has this little cutout right here, which is probably the reason why it's $18. Which is something I could have DIY'd myself. Literally hating on this brand so much. Okay, let me stop. Can't wait to wear this. This looks so comfy. I got something the exact same color. This little tank cami type thing. It looks super thin and cheap. The little lace detail right here. I think that's super different. And then I actually got a pair of jeans. I wanted to try out their jeans because I got another pair of jeans from them. Super, super light wash pair of jeans. And I actually really like them. I got them on Dilt like a few months back. So I wanted to try a different pair of jeans. As you can tell by all the buttons, they're super high-waisted. It's like a medium wash pair of jeans. They look like mom jeans that you can just like cuff up. I wanted to try these ones out because I love the other jeans that I have. This is such a pretty color. 
Basically the same top that I'm wearing right now except it's this really pretty like royal dark purple same exact shirt in so many different colors and I love the little button up this I got the same thing this color combo is so nice like white and pink is so pretty it looks like a little baseball tee this is super simple and I think it was let me see this is $24 this is $24 because of that damn she must be a celebrity because it's actually embroidered 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 i don't know it's like sewed on so i think that's why it was so expensive because it's not like a press on so my thighs are like sweating this is the last shirt i got it looks like those other two shirts except it has like a darker shade of pink it actually might be my favorite one pink is like the color right now i think that's the new favorite color like it might be Last thing I got is actually really bold of me. Oh, I forgot I got other stuff too. This pink corduroy like denim skirt. I think this is so pretty. I've never seen like a pink skirt like that looks this nice. It actually feels like pretty good quality. And I think it was only like $28. We have an outfit planned for this, so. She's going to be up to great use this summer. Okay, I look like an old lady right now. Don't mind that. I just wanted to jump in here and say if you think you're like a medium-ish size like me. I'm a size 3 in jeans and my waist size is like a 26 to like 28 around there. This skirt looked really nice on but it was really hard to put on. I just wanted to warn you if you're like looking into these skirts because they're so cute. It was so hard to put on so just wanted to warn you. And I actually got this belt. I'm not really sure why, but it looked really vintage. It has this little buckle thing, and it's just black. Oh, this looks super nice on, like, the model, so I was hoping it looked that nice on me. I actually got three pairs of earrings. I'm wearing the gold little hoops right now. I got the same hoops in silver, and then I got these... I can't see them, but they're, like, these hoops, and then they have little star beads on them. It's super cute. I cannot wait to wear these. The last thing I'm going to be opening is my own merch. I know actually giving one of these merch things to my friend all of these in the size small and you actually can't buy this merch anymore so you're kind of just gonna have to watch me open it home skillies merch and i just got this red sweatshirt i got this one in black i actually didn't get any of my merch in black this is like the first thing i have so that's it for this part of the haul i'll see you guys the next time i get more packages and stuff like that so Okay, what's up queens? We're back. I got a few packages today and yesterday, so I thought I would just update this haul. This probably won't be the last time you see me though. When is it ever? Y'all know how I'm obsessed with my Delia's platform shoes, right? We have some new homies in town. You're mad. Okay. I got the other color of the Delia's platforms, which is green. I'm pretty sure you can see that. These are so cute, and green has been my favorite color, so why the hell not? Am I right? They're literally the nicest platform shoes I'll ever see. I want them to make more colors, so let's start a petition. Okay, I'm going to turn off this light. That is not cute. I got a bunch of packages from a bunch of different places, so this is going to be a little bit scattered, but... What is it not? I got the Blosh or Billie Eilish merch, whatever you want to refer to it as I got the beanie and i don't remember ordering this i don't like it doesn't correlate it's not connected in my mind of when i ordered this i don't know why i would order a beanie when summer's coming up it just seems like something i would do it's not an ugly beanie so i'm kind of not complaining i had a white dickies beanie and i lost it so i'm excited to replace her next i got something from unif and i've been so obsessed with unif clothes the thing i don't really like about it is that it's so expensive but they're really like trendy and unique pieces i think i'm gonna splurge soon you're just gonna have to see i did get one thing i just saw claudia saluski wear this and i was like she snapped I want to snap. I didn't know where this was from originally, but then I was looking at the Unif shop on the Doe app, and I saw this, and it is so pretty, like, you can't even be mad that it was, like, $50. Such, like, a thin material, but it has a bunch of, like, unique little scrunchies to it, like, scrunchies. This doesn't look like any other shirt that you could buy. It kind of looks like a pajama set that you can get from, like, Walmart, but... It looks better, trust me. Now we're going to move on to Motel Rocks. It's this Instagram shop on Insta- Okay. They actually sent me this, so thank you so much to Motel Rocks for sending me this really nice dress. I don't know when I'd wear this. Like, This is a really common occurrence where I get stuff and I don't know when or why or where I would wear it to. But I still get it. Such a pretty like deep rose, but like kind of red, but like still pink silk dress looks like this it looks like it's like gonna be kind of like a mini dress but not too short to wear like 
my ass is out, you know? Has this super pretty lacing in the back. And this is something I would wear to like one of my trash school dances like, to like pop off. Like I wouldn't go there for like the dance. I would go there to pop off with this. I just love branching out and getting stuff I don't have, so. Add to the collection. Moving on to Urban Outfitters. I'm so excited for this purchase that I got. First thing I got were some Dickies. And this these are so strange, like. It's like a really faint army color. But it's also like on the gray side. So I'm not really sure like what they were trying to do here. I mean, they kind of snapped, but it's just really confusing. They're just a regular pair of Dickies. All of my Dickies are in really weird, you know, spontaneous colors. I saw these and I really like the fit of Dickies and that's why I wear them so much. Like not a lot of companies have like the same fit. If you know what I mean. Got some army green ones. I'm pretty sure these were $60, which usually they're 40 so I don't know why... They tried to scam me. Which they did scam me, so I don't know why I'm saying tried. Next, these. I just gotta show you this. Got these purple striped, like, beachy looking shorts. I don't know what they remind me of, but they just give me, like, a vibe. Like, I feel like I could wear these as pajama pants, but I could also wear this in, like, a full blown outfit and, like, snap for no reason. Never seen anything like these shorts. Also, $30 because they were from Urban Outfitters, so. You get what you pay for. Not really. Moving on to Paxson. So I don't have any bags for any of this stuff because I already threw it all away. Just I don't litter. These are basically, and I didn't even realize that I ordered two of like basically the same pants until they came. I got more two-toned pants. These are more different though. These are kind of a little bit more like in your face. Um, the reason why I got these is because of the back, which look like this. These kind of don't look as cool as they did on the picture. I'm kind of regretting like everything I bought in this video. Like everything was just a little bit more overpriced than usual, you know? I know I already did like that whole section on Brandy Melville, but I ordered more things. Not sure why. I really like this print. Okay, I got this little t-shirt. I really like this like pink leopard print. Not too cropped on me. I tried it on already. Not a big deal. Yeah, I got this cute little tee. I also got like a gold chain. It looks like this. It's super simple. It doesn't have any beads on it or anything. It's literally just like a gold chain. But it was super simple to just like put over like if I'm wearing like a cami or something. I've been getting really into like layering necklaces and like doing more with my jewelry because it like adds such a big difference. These are what I got from Brandy Mobile. I also got some Iris Beauty contacts, but I'm not going to put them on right now because my hands are dirty and I don't want to wash them. Also, I'm going to be putting them in a new video, but I actually do get a lot of questions on what my favorite contact company is. Kind of a tie between I I and it's kind of a tie between I, Iris kind of a tie between Iris Beauty and TTDI contacts. That's it for today. I'll see you when I get more stuff. What's up guys? So I'm back April 27th and I'm back with another segment of the haul. So let's get to it I guess. The thing I got was a wildflower case. I got the new strawberry one. I know that they just came out with this one. I love their fruit collection. I think it's literally the cutest thing. $50 so expect this case to be on my phone for like a year because I'm not buying a new one. Now we're gonna move on to Dolls Kill because I'm actually really excited for this order. It was... Why is my nose making that sound? This is so humiliating! A while ago, I got this Dickies clear backpack. It's super cute. It's like rainbow. I use it everywhere I go, and I got it from Dolls Kill. I had to get a new one because I saw this one, and I think it is so pretty. It's like this iridescent holographic. It's like the same exact size. It's just this mini backpack that I could take everywhere. I actually like this one a little more because it's a little less see-through. Like, that one's like clear, clear, so you can see everything that I'm carrying, like, ever. So, And I actually got this zip-up, like, two-toned skirt. It looks like this. It's actually really cute, but when I tried it on, I looked like a grandma. So I don't know if I'm actually going to be wearing this. I think it's so cute. I got it in a size medium. And I should have gotten it in a size small. But I'm usually a size medium. All skill kind of scammed me. This is super cute. I actually like it if I got it in the right size. Then I got this. And this is kind of like out of my comfort zone. In like a lot of different ways. I got this Dickies orange like overall dress i think um, my camera's about to die i think it's really cute and like i feel like i've never seen anybody wear something like this i think this is a kid dress it says juniors i love how bright it is and i feel like it'll be perfect for summer because it's like such a summery color so that's all that i got from dolls kill um okay i just wanted to sincerely apologize for this ugly combo i look like um that one cereal of like the orange and the green one it's called like jack well i don't 
Echoes? Apple? Apollos? I don't even know, but... It's literally called Apple Jacks. We're so uneducated. Let me give you a better view. It's really cute. I was scared that it wouldn't fit me because, like, I look like a fridge, but... I mean, it's like acceptable, only for this time. So moving on, I actually got Haley Fam's new merch. It's like this hot pink sweater. It's girly pop right there. I'm like a hard Haley Fam stan, so I had to get her new merch. It was like 50 something dollars, which you know, but this highlighter pink hoodie. I got it in a size medium and I'm really excited to not wear this because it's already hella hot where I am, but it can just sit in my closet, I guess. Oh my god, I almost fell. If you guys don't know, I actually shop a lot on this app called Depop. Sponsored or anything, but they literally have the most cheapest, best clothes ever. Like, buy and sell on that app. It's really good. So, I'm like constantly buying stuff from the app. So, I got this shirt. It's like this cropped, colorful, striped polo. It's Ralph Lauren polo. It is so pretty. I've never seen anything like this. It's like perfectly cropped too. Like, it won't be too cropped because I hate when like my belly is out. Like, for what? This is cute and perfect also got this on depop i've been looking at this for a while i think i've been looking at it since like december or january when i first saw it i barely bought it until now but like now i'm realizing it's kind of a mistake because it's summertime and i'm not gonna wear this so i got this like vintage nike like reversible blue jacket love that little logo right there i feel like that's like mainly the reason i bought it but then it's also reversible into like this nice dark blue color having like reversible clothing and i remember i used to have it a lot when i was in elementary so i'm kind of nostalgic got this it wasn't too expensive either for being like a nike product yeah i didn't know they had like an adidas store on dough until like i was actually looking but I just got these like black adidas like spandex i only have like a lot of workout gear and i really like spandex instead of like loose shorts because whenever i'm running on the treadmill like i just hate running in those shorts even though i know they're called running shorts i just don't like running in them i wanted to get some of these for the gym okay so my camera died i had to change the battery but yeah so i got those adidas Spanx, and then the last thing that i got last thing i got brought out my inner goth um i love these so much basically they're just like these regular black shoes they were like 150 dollars on unif and unif is such an expensive like instagram trendy spot so i know why I always wanted some just regular black shoes like this i really want some doc martens but every time i go to like buy them they don't have it in my size or it's sold out on like everything so they're literally the coolest shoes i own i love the laces i think they're so like Cool. I have nothing like these and I can't wait to like pair some outfits with these. That's everything that I got recently. I kind of hate like having to be like, see you guys in the next segment, but see you guys in the next segment. Bye. So I'm back with the final segment of this haul because I feel like this haul is like everlasting. Like it just won't end because I keep buying stuff and I just want to show you. So we're going to start with Dolls Kill. I just opened this package like five minutes ago and it was in my mailbox for like a good three days. I got all this stuff on dope by the way. Okay. Wait, okay, so when I first saw this, I was like, Ugh. who made that? It's actually one of the coolest pieces I've ever seen. And Dolls Kill kind of like stepped it up because usually they got that like ugly stuff that like nobody would ever wear to like an actual event but so it's like this multi-colored belt it's really cool and just like super like color blocky I've never seen anybody wear something like this and honestly I don't even know if I'm gonna be wearing this I'm gonna look like a clown but when do I not this could like really make a basic outfit look nice like 25 which is like the most I will ever spend on a belt but I got was a pair of pants that I've seen a few people look like this they're like half purple leopard and then half plaid I think these are super cool I love purple and I've never seen pants that are like cool like this but they're kind of groovy and kind of like different different patterns I think this is like one of the coolest piece i've ever seen and pretty expensive though i think it was like 80 dollars, and it's in the delia's collection which delia's is like my favorite brand on dolls kill so now we're gonna move on to misguided i love misguided because they have a really cool like playboy section if you guys know what brand that is okay so i just want to come in here and i just want to disclaim that i didn't know what playboy was until after i bought these clothes i thought playboy was just a clothing brand but apparently it's not and I'm just kind of stupid, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I still like the clothes, but now I know the true meaning, so. Fun fact, I didn't know that Playboy was more than just a clothing brand. I had to learn that very quickly. Um, my teachers all gassed me, and I was getting pressed the whole day, and I was like, why am I getting pressed? Um, and then I asked my boyfriend. I'm kind of embarrassed, like. This is kind of humiliating, but it's fine. But. Stuff is still really cute. I just like the bunny logo. I think it's like 
kind of cool first i just got this basic tee it has like neon lettering and it's super basic i have like neon pants that can match this so i'm planning to wear that outfit soon but then i got this honestly it looks like a bra it's super short i think it'll be really cute for like summertime neon lettering and this is like my favorite shade of purple ever i think it's like the perfect and i also got another shirt but i already wore it so i'll leave a picture right here of how it looks this is the shirt that i was wearing when i was getting gassed by everybody so and i got threatened to get sent to the dean's office okay so moving on to broke baddies they actually sent me this shirt for free to promote it's a little tank top and it's like adjustable because you can tie it by yourself and then these little daisies or whatever i already tried it on so i'll put it the picture right here it's super cute it actually fits me really nice it was super small when i first got it but it was all good so finally we've made it to the end i'm gonna be showing you guys the stuff i got from forever 21 actually forever 21 really upped their game like when they started coming out with like spring in their summer collection they snapped i have to admit like in the winter and fall i was just not with it i was like forever 21 really downgraded and plus they like up their prices a lot which is also not the wave because who got the money for that i got the extra large bag i'm also gonna be having a photo shoot soon so i got a little outfit and when i was walking in i saw this outfit on the mannequin and i was looking everywhere for it and it was in like the back of the store for what so i got this two-piece like lime green it's like this pastel green color the top looks like this they're like matching two-piece set i thought this was so pretty i don't know i feel like green is like coming back like i used to not see anything green and then when i walked into forever 21 it was like a grassland like set hopefully i'm gonna wear it on that photo shoot because i kind of want to like show it off like it was pretty expensive it gives me like tinkerbell vibes so I'm not really complaining, like I feel like a fairy. So I don't know why I got this, it's like this bucket hat. Um, I look like a fisher. Club Sale USA, I don't have any like regular denim hats like this. And I saw a bunch of people wearing these at Coachella and I was like, that's kind of cute though. I'm gonna wear it because my hair is just not looking cute. I just got this green button up shirt, I think this was like $13. It reminds me a lot of like the Brandy Melville shirts that I got. Except this one is just green and it has like the same button up, like this literally looks identical. If you want like Brandy Melville clothes but you're not like the one size fits all, then hit up Forever 21. Oh my god, this is so cute. It reminds me of like that green two piece set but it's just like this really really light purple color. This little lacing, I think this is so nice. I've been getting really into skirts because I bought a skirt on Brandy Melville, but it didn't end up fitting me correctly. I'm like kind of branching out, but like it's fine, it's fine. You don't gotta worry about it. My thigh was getting sweaty, so I'm glad this is finally over. I got this grandma tank top. I don't know why I got this. Like I'm kind of regretting it now because it like cinches at the bottom, so it looks like I'm not shaped right. But it's like this. I feel like I have something like this already, but it was like $12. Oh, I also got this really cute basket. I got that basket to put all my like bikinis in, but they don't even all fit, so I don't like I wasted my money. Everything that I got in this whole haul, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys have been asking me for hauls since like forever. I would just do a huge collective haul. All this stuff was literally a collection of like two months. So I think today's like May 2nd, so. Oh, I forgot I forgot to show you. So I got some dodo lashes. Thank you so much for watching this haul, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.